All right, fine, I will play Balatro. Or Balatro. Or, huh, Baltro, not realizing that the ace is actually a letter in the title. Um, I have had extraordinary amounts of people plugging this game to me. Dude, I'm P1, 100%. And I've not watched it. I've not learned very much about it. I just knew, yo, I'm gonna go play it. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. And that's it. That's the entire logic leading up to this. I'd like to give a shout out as well to uh, Tort Delini, the savior of the Dota 2 guide scene, for buying this game for me. Thanks, Michael. All right, let me rotate this. All right. Hello there, my name is Jimbo. I'm here to help you learn how to play. The goal is to earn chips to defeat the enemy blind. All right, I played an absolute metric boatload of poker, so perfect. This here is a small blind. You only need to score 300 chips to beat it. All right. Select the small blind and start the round. All right. You earn chips by playing poker hands, right? Each poker hand earns a base amount of chips multiplied by some mult. You know, I, I will say, classic engineer art error. By the way, this is something I have done my whole life and will do my whole life. This is blue, so this is blue, and this is red, so this is red. Anytime you need a new thing, you make a new, very bright, loud color for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See your poker hands in the run info area, along with other information about your current run. Oh. All right. So it's the usual format. High card pair, two pair, three of a kind. Straight flush, full house, four of a kind, straight flush. Perfect. All right. Cards also earn some chips, however to see. Oh, okay, so the number of chips that it provides is its value, okay. Now select with five cards to play and press play hand. So why not a pair of aces and a pair of sevens with a queen? Ah, you can also discard up to uh, up to five selected cards to try to make even stronger hands. Try it. Okay, so I have two, three, four, five, so I need a six or an ace. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Careful. You only have a little number of hands and discards per round. And 300 chips before you run out of hands to win this round. Good luck. Oh, yeah. So... I mean, the full house seems good enough, huh? Ooh, it's such a snappy, responsive thing. So if I do run info... So the number is how many times I've done it. I see, so there's two pair. Great, so if I... And it has this little indicator for people that have not played a lot of poker, great. Oops, let me hit play hand. That was close. Uh, Mr. Polypamps, you don't have to play five cards every time the kicker doesn't add any score, but it does. It says four chips. Mr. Polypam, you need to be, you need to participate in the tutorial. Yeah, so, um, it gives you that exact amount of chips as a bonus. That's why we have 112 chips here. And if I go to the run info, you'll see that we had 20 times two, which is a grand total of 40, but due to the extra bonus. Breezy to this is Polly Pam is right. What? Queen doesn't count though. It wasn't part of the two pair. Okay, so if it's not part of the hand, it doesn't count the chips. I now see what you mean. I now see what you mean. So for instance, if I if I were to do this, let's actually do this as a test. So, so this is 
two pair, so this would be 40 points, and we would expect to get plus four, plus four, plus two, plus two, which should be 12 extra points on top of this. So that should be 12 plus 40, which would be 52. How great. So it's 55. If this does count, it's 52 if it does not count. Great. I now see what you mean. Perfect. All right. That's really helpful. Because, yeah, in, in, um, in poker, your kicker which is the card that doesn't participate. Like for instance, if you had, um, oh, this is not gonna be a good hand to show this. But yeah, if I had four kings and the 10, I would have four kings and a 10 kicker. So. So kicker cards are basically only valuable as discard is what I'm gonna conclude. But anyways, um, so you know what? Oh, it's the standard 52 card deck. Nice! So I have that probability. Great. So I'm actually just going to discard these cards. Why not? Having some fun. So now I see where some of these multiplicative values come in. Oh, I see. And this gets added to that. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So I just passed that amount. I still had a hand left and a discard out. Okay. One remaining hand, $1 each. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Cash out. Move your run, all right, nicely done. Now that you're flush with cash, you can buy some new cards from the shop. Try buying this handsome devil. One of the 150 jokers you can add to your run. Every joker does something different. This one has plus four malts to every hand you play. To every hand I play? All of them? Be picky, you can only carry five joker cards at a time. Now buy the other card from the shop. Yes, mistress. Enhances two selected cards to malt cards. All right. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but let's give it a go. This tarot card is a consumable. This one will enhance your playing cards. Hold on to it. You can carry up to two consumable cards with you at a time. Okay. Man, this is clever. This is clever. Now, now, one of the reasons why I think this is so clever has to do with how brains come preloaded. If you say, Sean, the world has been overcome by zombies, and you're going to need to fight them off. Instantly, I can assume that there's going to be hordes of things coming at me. Instantly, I'm going to assume that there's some notion of survival mechanics and scavenging. Why? Because that's just how zombie media has historically worked. If it was like, Sean, it's a zombie game. The world's been overrun by zombies. You manage a coffee shop. You know, it's like, you're not disallowed from doing that, but it's like the, the intuition of how zombies work might not matter when it comes to running this coffee shop. And so, you know, the idea of, hey, we have a game. It's going to be about, um, you know, the fun of round base combinatorics card game stuff, like a Slate of Spire or something like that. Leveraging traditional card games and leveraging tarot cards. These are things that, like, culturally a lot of people know about. That's, like, so clever. That's, like, so clever. You save up enough, you can buy a voucher. Vouchers passively upgrade your run. Very well. Vouchers are restocked after you defeat the boss blind. All right. <laughs> and check out both the booster packs. Every shop, they're full of goodies. Choose one of up to three playing cards. Choose one of up to three tarot cards. Oh, wild. Let me, let me peel the music down, because I'm more important than any music has ever been. What do you think of this, Ghosty? Okay, so selecting the big blind will earn some cash. Oh. Or choose to skip it to get a tag. Each tag has a unique effect. Keep an eye on the boss blind. It has the ability you'll need to plan around.
if you beat it, then the ante goes up and all blinds become harder. I don't understand any of this. Beat ante eight to win. Now choose your path. Garbage tag gives one dollar per unused discard this run. What does that mean? Gives one dollar per unused discard this run. Prency will give two. So was that in the previous run? By the way, no back seating, please. No back seating, please. Um, I assume this is of the previous run, but this is a little weird having this here and this here. Um, no. By the way, uh, uh, talk. We have some new people coming in. All right, great. We should use a spray command. I, I am speaking what is going on in my head. All my questions are rhetorical unless I say, hey chat, I'm actually asking you this. We're a no backseating channel at all. Uh, and the, the reasoning is that this is the fun part of the game is trying to learn how things work. That's the fun. Don't take my fun away. Also, I'm just better at all games than any of you could ever hope to be. There it is. All right. I'm just gonna select this and Learn more later. When you get more cards, remember that you can uh, rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. I see. Make sure that you use your consumables. Select two cards in your hand and press use on the tarot to enhance them. Alright. Oh, you're going to make me do this right now, huh? Alright, I'm just going to do the ace and the queen. Oh, plus four molt. Holy, whoa, wow, yeah. All right, so I get a discard. So let me just, I'm just gonna go for high values with this. Let's have a flush, but I think it's fine. I'm just gonna discard these. Well, this hand utterly sucks. I'm, I'm going to try to just get these to become activated because I just think that this would be cool. So, okay, so if I do like this, this, and dump this. So these, this has plus four malt. All right, so let's play this. This is me learning how the stuff works. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus four. Oh, dude, we're screwed. Yeah, 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 yep. This sucks. This sucks, man. I have a lot I need to do this week. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. What am I, what am I gonna eat? Cece, you need to walk yourself today. Dad is gonna be quite busy. All right. Cash out seven from heaven. So here's the four dollars, three remaining hands, one each. I see. Permanently gain plus one hand per round. She's up to one of three planet cards. Converts up to three selected cards to hearts. No. Level up two pair. Ooh. Oh God, this is this is really tough. This is this is a nightmare, actually. This is this is horrible. Uh, level up straight flush. Level up full house. Level up two pair to level two.
probably should level it up straight flush. <sighs> Alright, let's go to the next round. So now I have to do this, huh? So it's small blind, big blind. We'll hook. Discards two random cards per hand played. Score at least 600. Reward. Money, 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 money. Oh, and there's my queen. Oh. So. So I don't really want to play these. Because then discards two random cards per hand play. So I don't want to discard some stuff. You know, I, I actually am curious about something, though. So I'm going to play these. So if I play this hand, and in my run info, I see now that tracking this is really helpful. Because I can see the level two quality there. So I'm going to submit these because I'm curious. When I hit this, what is the sequence of resolution here? So that just discards two. But do, am I going to draw back to six? Let's find out. I do draw all the way up. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Full house. Incredible, even. That's gonna be so big. It's gonna be so big. Oh, oh. We're heating up. 1568. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are like, I had 856 billion in my run, but you know what? I just hit the four digit club, baby. Yeah, I'll cash out seven from heaven. Ship it. Plus a multiplier per consecutive hand played without a scoring face card. Each played card with a diamond suit gives blank multiple and scored. I'm going to click this as much as I can and hope that I can somehow afford it. Yeah, I'm just going to do the standard pack. Huh. Oh my god, fuck! I have things I need to do in my life! When am I gonna fucking do anything? This sucks. Fuck. Alright. I'll do this. Alright, well, let's go to the next round. <laughs> yeah, my 14 spades. This is where it starts to degenerate. Alright, okay. So... So here, here's actual backseat question. Uh, uh, ouch. Here's the actual backseat question. Um, why would I choose this over choosing this? Is it because orbital tag is kind of like... Yeah, so this can get me money. This is effect versus cash, I see. So I'm just going to do this, because why not? I'm just going to do this, because why not? We're doing some random stuff. So, um, actual backseat question. I get money for having hands at the end of the round, but not for discards, I don't think.
like this, right? Let's do something greedy, shall we? Uh, you know, I just haven't done this yet, so I'm just gonna actually do this. Straight. Alright, I've been molted. Actually, not... not incredible. <laughs> the exact same situation again. So I'm gonna go for the flush. Haven't done that yet. All right. Discord. And then I see, then you can start burning through hands. Aha, 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 aha. Perfect. So then I would... So then what I might do is I might say to myself... I still have a discard left, and I want to get that gold card. So let me discard that, see if I can get it. Nope. Maybe we could have gone for a straight flush as well. Am I taking a couple weeks off? Cameron, I'm doing streams next week, and I, I recently learned that my streams next week are going to be a Bellatro. Um, the week after that, I'm at GDC, being a productive member of Gaming Society, and then I'm back. Need cash. Each face card held in your hand has one two chance to give one dollar. And I think... Face card? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. So this says each face card held in hand has a one in two chance to give one dollar. Actual backseat question is that at the end of the round or is that after I've played each hand? What is the time slice at which it does this evaluation? Every hand. All right. All right, next round. Select. I've been debuffed. So, so question. If I do this, this, and this, and I cast the sun, up to three cards. Do I have two ten of hearts? I have two ten of hearts. I have two ten of hearts. So let me go boink, 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 and then let me discard this. So I would have a pair. I'm gonna try to get the more face cards in there. Okay, so if I go like... So I wanna see what happens. I want to see what happens. Do I have a pair and a flush? I mean, it looks like it's just counting the highest value thing, so that's great. Nice. 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 Terrific. Ugh! I have the gold card! Alright. Awesome. Thick. Arabian says, am I having fun? I'm... Uh... It's going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little tough. I think I'm actually having too much fun. Let him be wrong, chat. I'll figure it out. No, I think I... My God, the, the vaccine... Okay, so first of all, again, the thing that I was testing last round is whether or not I got bonus from having both a pair and a flush, because I had two ten of hearts. Um, and this looks like it did trigger 
I, don't, I, I didn't look to see what the actual um, animation was associated with that. And yes, I do. I do know that the ace is not a face card. So, man, this is satisfying as hell. So, what do we do? I have two discards, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say greed is good. Can I discard as many hands at the cards as I want? No, it looks like I can only do up to five. Yeah, the reason why face cards are called face cards is because there's literally a face there. What am I trying to do here? No. Okay, so here's another question I have. If I do... Oh, this does count as a pair. So this is no chips and abilities disabled, but it doesn't do nothing. Got it. So I think I'm going to be going for uh, flush and kind of keeping some connected cards here. Semi-connected card. Oh my god, day nine is just way too thick, sick, solid, and tight. Do we go for the Royale? I don't think... I think I've not seen the King of Spades. Yeah. I mean, why would I not go for the Royal Flush? Mm -hmm. Fuck! <laughs> Do, 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 do. So now we have a flush, 35 times 4, plus another 4 multi. I'm going to put this to the left, and I'm going to hit play hand, and I want to see when this thing triggers. So I think this is the ability on that. I don't know when this would be resolved. Hmm, whatever. Do, 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 do. One interest per five dollars? Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm have I'm having an alarming amount of fun. This is concerning. This is concerning. Tarot cards appear two X more frequently in the shop. You gotta play permanently. What? Joker gains each card sold. For each card sold. I don't actually know how to sell a card. Let's buy it. Why not? And I'll keep one for little interest. Ooh. Choose one of two spectral cards? Choose one of three planet cards? Sure, let's open it. Let's find out what happens. Okay. Joe says, would you like to explain how to sell a card? Is that back seating? Literally, unless I specifically say, hey chat, please answer this question, back seat me. It's always rhetorical. It's always rhetorical. It's always rhetorical. It always and will forever be rhetorical on this channel. Oh my God. Now, please let me play like dog shit. God. All right. Converts all cards in hand to a single random suit. One purple seal. Why not? Oh, that's what happens? Unbelievable. So I just have so many... <laughs> Okay, copy, got it, great. Yo, these are scaling. Small blind, big blind, the head, the claw. All right. Each card sold. Yeah. This is three of a kind. 
see you later. And I'm going to play this. To just get myself a casual slew. Hey, we got a dollar. I saw it. Nice. And what does this do again? Oh. So we're going to discard this. We're just going to try to go to the heart seas. Very well. Oh my god. Alright, so that should do it, right? Nope, my math sucks. No! Face cards. So we have three of a kind, and I believe we're still... We'll have two fives in the deck. These would give me more money. Easiest trip of my life. And I want to discard this one. Doesn't really matter, does it? So I just need to pass the high water mark. So I'm just going to hit play hand. Because we could go for a full house, but my understanding is it's just not that helpful to exceed that much. So, let me explain my logic there. So, my understanding thus far is that 2,800 is the number to beat. If I pass that in any way, cool. It doesn't matter if I'm at 2,801 or 5,000. As long as I'm above that, we're good. And because reserve parking says each face card held in hand has one, two chance to give $1, I wanted to keep the two jacks and the king to increase the probability of getting some extra money here. By the way, we know every setting that has ever existed in this game, and we built the game. This is our game, so we don't actually need any feedback or advice about any settings until we ask for it. Forty chips for each remaining discard. I wonder when that triggers. Every played card counts as scoring. Got it. Negative, plus one joker slot. So I assume that this means that it takes two slots, right? And, okay, so here is, watch this, watch this everyone. Here's an actual backseating question. I can see some of you, you, you're just like my dog when I'm holding a bone and I'm going, wait, wait, and Cece goes, and I'm like, in front of you, I'm like, actual backseating question coming up. I have an actual question. Get ready. And just just uh, tell us a question. I want to answer it so hard. So this is plus 40 chips for each remaining discard. At what time slice does this trigger? Because I can imagine this triggering in between each hand at hand resolution each hand perfect what's the voucher since I haven't got one of those tarot cards appear two times more frequently in the main shop sure tarot merchant redeemed alright get comfy alright Just do two or five playing cards add to your deck. I'm gonna do this. Whoa. Whoa. Red seal, we trigger this card one time. I'm gonna get this. This. Trying to get this one. Do the stone card. Yeah, I'm skipping the stone card. Hell yeah. 
all heart cards are debuffed. Well, this, this is a real pickler, huh? So we're going to go ahead and discard these. Most of my deck is hearts. I'm hoping I can get that funky little queen. So I'm going to go ahead and dunk these. So let's go ahead and play this, because this will get me a small bonus. Hey, there it is. Wink. 1400. I don't think I want to discard that. We have so many hearts in here, man. So, God, they're all debuffed. You hate to see it. Willie Nelson's headband. Happy 141 months in a row. Happy 101 months in a row. My God, Willie Nelson's headband. What's it like living on the headband? You know, I'm going to do something that's wild and wacky, because I'm just kind of interested in futzing around with some other stuff. I know that we have this weird Queen of Spades retrigger this card one time, and I want to get to that. I want to actually get to that card. Now, what I could do is actually, I think I'm going to be a safe gamer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard these and just continue to go for the flush, because I'm an absolute snoozer. really kind of boring how dry this day nine guy is. Yeah, debuffed hearts is hilarious when like most of my deck is hearts. <laughs> 624. Uh-oh, two hands left. Not feeling that great. So this has been debuffed. Fantastic. So now what would be so we have one more discard to go for here. We have two more hands. Oh, this game is awesome. So get these connected cards, fantastic. Two pairs, quite good. What do I want to dunk? keep the five, so we want to junk this one. So we'll play this. This will get us some benefit, because the king is dope. We'll get a little bit of benefit, but it's not going to be that great. Ooh, the final hand. Oh, hell yeah. We're looking ready to lose, baby. Four, five, six, seven. It's time to get the high cards. G. Oh my god, we lost. This is awesome. Game over. New run. New fun. Blue deck unlock. Plus one hand every round. Oh! Oh my god, I've never enjoyed losing more. This is it. This is the game. So plus one discard every round would mean... So this, this gives me more money over time. Alright, we got this. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You know what? Why not go for a straight flush? Why not? Null Gravitas just gifted 10 subs. Null Gravitas, let's go! Ooh, we're so close. Dude, I'm still gonna go for it because we get so many discards. I'm not used to getting this many extra cards in poker. 
dude, I'm just literally gonna keep mulliganing until I get to a straight flush. This is it, it's gonna hit right now. Dude, Nell Gravitas, thank you for the 10 gifted subs on our only stream this week. No! I know, I, I saw the five and I was like, we go! Maxi TB gifting 11 from heaven, Maxi TB. How dare you, you sweet pea. Maxi TB. And, and by the way, I apologize. I, I never even responded to the note you sent me about being able to do reference uh, in C Sharp. <laughs> and I want to let you know, now that I'm playing this game, I'm never going to talk to anyone ever again. So unfortunately, that's it for everybody. Maxi TB, thank you warmly. And Null Gravitas, to what do we owe the great honor? All right. Level up pair, plus one multi and chips. Level up two pair. I don't want either of these. Because I, well, okay, so if I don't have that many discards, I'm going to have to go for pair and two pairs with some frequency. No, I'm getting this. Plus one hand per round. Redeemed. Level up Uranus. How can I? It's already hit maximum level. Oh my god, this game is awesome. Plus three hand size next round? No. Oh my god. Dude, I'm I'm literally I'm I'm gonna show my wife this game. I know she's going to love it. No one's gonna be cooking food in the house. The dishes aren't gonna get done. All the animals will have to fend for themselves. Like, I'm worried that we're going to be cannibals by the end of the week. Like, this is a nightmare. Oh, God, it's so fun. Ugh. All right. All right, so what What? what, what am I bonused up? No, no, I just have an extra hand per round. So, all right, greed is good. We have 450, and if I can get... 40 times four, all right. So we have these three connected cards. I think just kicking things off with going for the three connected cards and seeing what happens. All right, we have the straight. We have three to a flush, four to a straight. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep cycling through to try to get a really big disappointment. One more disco. So I think that if I have lower discards, higher hands, I might have to... Get rid of this one. What's a four to a flush? Spades do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Spades. Eight spades. Spades, but we also have all the sixes and all the jacks. So it's it's equal probability for both. And I think flushes score more by how much? 35 times four. So they're pretty equivalent, but we should be going for the flush. Ace is 11. All right. Full house. I'm both. I don't know if you're colorblind, but I am. And the colorblind feature in the game made it much more accessible for me. Love that you're playing Velantro. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually think that. Is this by default? Because things that like when I when I played poker, I did the four color decks, so clubs were green and diamonds were blue. Spades were black, hearts were red. It's so much easier to see. Enhances one selected card to a lucky card. Lucky card, one in five chance for plus 20 multi, one fifteen chance to win twenty dollars. Alright, that sounds fun. Earth, level up full house. Oh, I'm definitely getting this. And this seems amazing. So I should just use this right away. So let me... If I go to settings, graphics, video, game... 
what's what's the one that uh, makes it a little easier to see? Actual vaccine question. What's the one that makes it easier to see? Oh my God! Yes! Oh my God! Yeah! Oh, we're, we've done it! All right. So, uh, actual backseat. Oh, I'm. I can sell a card. I can sell a card. I know how selling works. I know how selling works. Yeah, I know how selling works. All right. Cards previously played. Debuffed. So, is this a actual backseat question? Is this a permanent enhancement? Ace of Hearts. A lucky ace. So full house is level two, so we can actually go for some greed. And I think we're actually gonna bank it here. You know? When I know, I know. Lucky card. Are we ready? Bam. Debuff? No, it didn't one in five me. 580. All right, so we we now can just cross the threshold, and it's like no problem, right? So this is 20, so that's enough. And there it is. Gosh, I'm never getting anything done again. I'm not going to pay my taxes. I'm not going to use the bathroom. And of course, I'm not going to flush the toilet. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is playing this game. Level up four of a kind. Played cards with spade suit. Get plus four multi when scored. What? Is that just overpowered? kind of full house so do I have any other weird turkeys in here this is the only one is my lucky ace of hearts <laughs> spade suit does a lot more huh so I have a question for myself here So, seven, eight, nine. You know, I'm just gonna continue to go for the flush because I want to see how this actually, how this computation works. I mean, we have two pair. So, I, I'm gonna do like this because I want to actually see what this looks like. So, is this gonna make multi times ten? Oh my God, that seems, that seems like what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. I'm all in on that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hearing some Flamio Hotman noises. <laughs> my numbers are getting so big right now. My numbers are getting huge. I wonder if there's like an overkill reward for like really scoring high. Plus one molt per hand played, minus one molt per hand. No. Nope. 
choose a two five month views immediately. I'm doing this. I'm just doing different things now. So I see I can I can like focus on getting certain I can focus on certain ones here, huh? So if I'm going for full houses and four of a kind, then also leveling up three of a kind makes sense. Gives five per skipped blindness run. More money. Okay, so um, which one do I wish to keep? Probably the eight, because we have spades that are helpful for us. But eights are going to be good since we're going for four of a kind, full houses, three of a kind. This is a roguelike poker game. This is the best game that's actually ever been made. I mean, that's going to be a ridiculous bonus, huh? Oh my god, here it comes. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. 21-28. I'm dopamine as hard as I can. God, my hands are so big right now. Oh. Five remaining hands ship the dollars. Cash out. Nope, not going to get any of those. Next round. Don't even care. Oh. Start with zero discards, huh? So we have three of a kind. So we should chuck back this because these are connected. This is a high card. Oh my gosh, dude, all the years of playing poker may not have netted me a lot of money, but it will equip me to play Balatro. Ace, two, three, four, five. Does it count this as a straight? There's some modes that don't, which is pathetic. All right, and then this sets up nicely to do trips. Oh my god, I just, my numbers are gonna be so big. Doing handshakes and probabilities feel like, like Mahjong. Yeah, no, I, I have heard that. I have, I have had some people pitch some Mahjong to me before. This game is very good. Boss blind has been blind. Well, I'm 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 texting Brit. Hold on. I regret to inform you that I've found an amazing game that you'd like. She's, we're fucked, man. This family's never going to the grocery store. In fact, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna be playing so much of this game that I'm gonna need to door dash food to my front door, then hire a task rabbit to pick it up, enter my home and put it in my mouth because my hands will be occupied at the time. Like, I don't even think that we need to have a front door anymore. Maybe we just have like a feed hole on the roof and they just dump the food in and it comes down in like a chute into my mouth. Oh, this is so good. I want this. Tarot cards fear more frequently. Not pre-chewed. Could be. Could be. I mean, that's what all my subs get to do. Really excited to announce that you get to chew my food for me. 
Increases rank of up to two selected cards by one. Okay. Three to diamond. Enhances one card into a stone card. Creates up to two random planet cards. I mean, I'm gonna use this. I like the planet cards. Oh, dude, full house. Yeah. All right, I'm planeting. Shinji X says, can I invest in that food shoot system too? Yes, in fact, uh, it's stored on the blockchain. I don't know if you know this. All right. Oh, man. Yo. Ooh. Ugh. Okay, so I have this. So if I go to my run info, three of a kind, full house or four of a kind is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump these because if I get a nine, this is a spade. So that'll be a spade full house. Nice, superb, very good. What are my jokers again? Oh my god, that feels fantastic. I mean, that's that's so good. Oh, double spade full house. Mm, 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 mm. Dude, five hands remaining. Ship to ten. For playing card added to the deck. playing card added to the deck gains a quarter molt per playing card added to your deck but I don't have any cards added to my deck I mean I have the ace of hearts I see I see so what it is saying is that 1x is the multiplication that occurs directly. A lot of times there is a way that games will present the math. I actually don't know which one is more clear, where if something doubles, do you state that it is 2x, which would cause people to think, hey, the base value times two, or is it the base value plus an additional 2x multiplier on top for a total of 3x? So it took me a second to realize they were talking about the other one. Great. So, uh, actual backseat question? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Ploki, Plo that's a better way to, to phrase it, which is, plus 100% is the same as 2x, is the same as double. But saying you get a bonus 100% can sometimes be confusing. So games will say you get 200% damage, but then people think that they get a bonus 200%, which is, I mean, it's, it, it's semantics, but... For getting, for getting your player as horny as possible when they see the number, the semantics really matter. Yeah, plus 100% is the same as multiplying by 200%. Casual water cooler. Casual, more like professional. GVG's S says 1x equals 1x, change my mind. No. You're stuck. You're doomed. That's on you. Um, okay, so actual backseating question. Do, do these change? Like this uh, anti-3 voucher? Like, I, I've not seen this change in some time. 
initial cards and booster packs in the next shop are free. I see. Oh, each ante. Ah, up the ante. All right, I'm going to skip. Because I want to add more things to the hatch. So if we get a full house, we get some good bone ice. So we can discard these. Another discard, but that's okay. This is not a good remaining set of cards, but that's okay. This is gonna be a lot of this is gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, that is fun. That is just fun to see all those numbers do things to each other. Just hang out with and to do things with one another. Do I have any two pair bonus? No, just three of a kind. So I should do the same calculation and let me make sure I understand what this graph means. So if I hover over the four, there are two fours in the deck. And yeah, the fours and the sevens I have not yet seen. All these other ones I have seen. Great. I now understand how the interface is. Let's discard these and just get another full house. Easy. This is just nice. This is just this is just nice experience stuff. More of a kind. With high card ace. Yeah, Ma Majin Brew, if you go to the settings, you look up high contrast mode. That's how you get what I have here. Anti up achievement unlocked. Plus one hand size. I like that. Paintbrush redeemed. Man, that takes a long time. I have to speed it up. So we're going to add a spade. this is better, right? I'm just going to select this because I feel like it. Buy and use. Select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. So we're going to get rid of this. This adds one to be used immediately. I'm going to buy and use this. Open. So this is enhances one selected card to a wild card. Enhances one selected card to a lucky card. Oh. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my clubs, excuse me, my spades, and use those. And I'm, gonna, I'm all in on my spade joker, basically. So if I re-roll, are these all free again? Only this re-rolls? Are you fucking kidding me? This game sucks! Play face cards with 30 chips, one score. Enhances two selected cards to bonus cards. All right, I'm absolutely gaming right now. 
So this is, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling so big. Mm -hmm. So this is... So what we should do is we should go for our full house, four of a kind, again. I mean, we almost have a straight flush. Just needed the 10. So I think that this is going to be a safe play to do right now because this will refresh the hand. I do lose the nine. Eh, maybe, I'll, maybe that's awful. Yeah, you know what? Greed is good. Greed is good. Since when has greed ever been bad and not served me well? So this will give plus four. This gives an additional note. And this is plus 30 chips. So this is actually going to be quite a lot of multis. Yeah, plus 10 and a malt and a 30 plus 10 and a 30 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Day 9! Oh, 17.5, 38.85, yes. Yeah, that's right. The plural of bonus is boni. That's correct. <laughs> Not to be confused with my dog, Cece, whom I also call boni's. Just need another spade. That's going to be a lot of bonus. Oh, whoops. I forgot to use the Hierophant. Select two cards, convert the left card to the right card. Okay. Uh, that, that, was, that was an error on my part. Adds double the rank of the lowest card held in hand to Molt. Use this right away. Four of a kind, full house, 12 of four. Game troll by not giving card packs. It's all right. It's all right. Yes, I may as well. I think those are the ones that I want to do. All right, I will. Because I want, I want to do enhance, and then I want to death an enhanced one that is also enhanced. Kind of a mediocre looking. Draw. Have the eights in the middle. I'm looking for that four. This is this is the one that I'm really looking for. Is this is this four that's plus ten malt? I want to get a couple more of those. <laughs> so I think I'm I'm hungry for a full discard here. What's the other one that I discard? Probably this. Because we're looking for trips and spades. All right. All 
All right. Enhances two select cards to be bonus cards. So, so here's what I'm curious about. So if I do this, Beep. and I do this, Beep. and I say, enhances these three bonus cards. Let's do that. So let's see this. Does this get a double bone eye? No, it doesn't get a double bonus. It only gets that tag once. Okay. But he's okay. Because now what I'm going to do is this is select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. So select two cards, convert the left one into the right one. Why not? So then I'm going to get four of a kind. Feeling divine. And I don't want the two. That's kind of sweet. That was pretty cool. I feel kind of cool. Not extremely cool, but like a, like a little bit cool. Um, I have a ton of bonuses for full house level 5, so we will just do that to end play. Nice. I mean, you know, it, it's one of these things where um, that is Insania. Um, I actually, I, I don't really know where I fall on this because I harp like crazy about, oh my god, the design needs to be uh, clearly explained in the interface. Like, dude, the number of RTS games that I've played in the last few years where, like, I just can't get information about the units, can't get information about the mechanics, don't understand what things do. I remember when I started playing Age of Empires 2 more seriously, I had to install a mod just to have the tooltips explain clearly what the units did. It was a nightmare. So... Um... And so, you know, on one hand, it's like, hey, how do you, like, really grab a player and explain to them unbelievably clearly in every possible way that they know exactly what's happening at all points in time? Well, fundamentally, if you have a simple tooltip that might be misunderstood 10% of the time, that might actually be better than a much longer tooltip that will be perfectly understood 100% of the time if someone reads it. Because a lot of the time, if players see a huge tooltip, they're just going to fucking tune out and they're not going to worry about it anymore. So, um, yeah, no, like, it's actually kind of funny where there, there's, like, I've seen studies where there's, like, a curve where, like, the more letters that we add, the more understandable it is, but also the less that people read, so the misunderstanding value increases and so on and so forth. So I think that like having a game where there's just lots of stuff that occurs so you can kind of not understand but then get smacked in the face with it being incorrect. It can make you be like, oh, all right, okay, I get it now. So, I want to make sure the plus 20 occurs before this, okay? All right, looking for spades. May as well. All right, this is the game. So we actually just added some juicy fives in there. So let's just add another five. No repeat hand types this round. going to chuck everything that is not a pair. There's an argument to be made to keep this five, actually. 
because I have I have a lot of fives in the deck. In fact, I'm yoked up on fives. Yeah, I think I'm gonna chuck like this. See, I told you I have a lot of fives. Let me discard again. Because we need to be prepared to have a couple different slices of things. No repeat hand types this round. Okay. So this is a full house. Could also go for this. I think I like this play a little more. So does this mean, oh, no repeat hand types this round. Okay, so I can't do another full house. Is that accurate? Can't do another full house, period. Okay, so there's a single four left in the deck. Okay. This is, I, I, I can't remember what I was, game we were playing recently where I was talking about this, where like, there's a lot of turn-based games where there's multiple sub-turns. Like, I can imagine someone saying, okay, this turn, I'm gonna discard, and next turn, I'm gonna play my hand. I can imagine the entirety of me battling against this thing is a turn, <laughs> you know? And so you go, okay, let's come up with a different language. Let's call it a turn versus a round. And then all of a sudden, someone might say, well, is a round small blind, big blind boss? And every game just has like unintuitive, every game has its own definition of what's a round and what's not a round and what's a turn and what's not a turn. And like how to use those way over commonly used terms. Okay. So I've already used a full house, so I can't actually use a full house anymore. I see. Okay. I just want to go for three of a kind now. Do I hold on to my fours? I think I should actually go for a flush here. So I'm going to discard these five, because then this kind of straddles going for a flush or going for four of a kind, should that come to us. Yet another one. So if I understand this correctly, if I said to do this, yep, no repeat hand types this round. Nice, really nice. So we're going to do this. We're going to score three of a kind. Spades, do I have left? Eight spades. I actually think this is high value enough to leave it. So I should get a pair over there, like you just don't care. Didn't I try last epoch? I sure did, Thunderclease. I loved it. Well, this is the worst thing in the universe. So I should probably be going for two pair, huh? So this will be so this is going to get plus four multiplied, plus four, plus four. So this is 12 plus 10 is 22. So that's 24 and that gets multiplied by time and a half. So that'll be 36, 36 times. So I need 36 times at least. Four and four. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna play this. We don't need, need this anymore. But we can't actually play it, so I will play this. Or, oh, I'm at 1.75 multiplication. Okay, nice. That's really nice. What about three pair? So pair. So what? What is left in here? Bunch of spades, actually. So, if I go, like... So this is the most efficient way to just get high card. So this, this is the most efficient way to get five out of the hand. One, two, three, four, cry. Fives left in the deck. Five spades left in the deck. So I think that I need to go for the spade flush. chances. You know, that that's that's high enough for me. I'm going to play this. Got it. Perfect. Yeah, we, 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 we had done trips, pair, two pair, full house. So we were disallowed from doing that again. So spade flushes are just stupidly high value, and I'm pleased that I got to keep the five. Let's see if I can add some more spades. So this is 50 chips if played hand contains a pair. Actual, so by the way, this is the perfect example of what I think is a simple tool tip that has some ambiguity, but I think that's fine. Um, like, so for instance, does this mean if I had four of a kind, would this also give me a plus 50 bonus? Or uh, it, is, it is inclusive. Escalation in this game is so good. Doubles your money. Yeah, whatever. Alright, well that is an insanely good thing. Alright, so I'm gonna just play that. I don't have that many queens. So... You know, I, I I don't know if this is correct, but part of me wants to just like play like this. That's okay. I'm gonna do this. Full house, level five. Oh man, this is this game is great. Okay. So, I mean, I'm basically going for spades and or full house type thingies. So, all these do not contribute to that story, so we're going to go ahead and discard this. Oh, 
Okay, so discard, discard, discard. So now any spade just demolishes for us. Do I get any more money from this? No. So I should actually be going four spades here. Because I have the four. There we go. Dude, I, it's so funny because the very, very, very first time... Um... I started playing this. Almost everyone in chat was just like, dude, you need to turn up the gameplay speed. <laughs> go, 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 go. And I can absolutely see, I can imagine my, like sitting on my sofa with my legs shaking, like hunched over my Steam Deck playing this. Adds one stone card to deck when the line is selected. Retrigger all cards played for the next 10 hands. No, I don't need that. Retrigger all cards played for the next 10 hands. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I like planet cards. I like my little Joker strategy here. You know, let me, let me open a tarot card. Why not? Creates two random tarot cards. Great. Increases the rank of two. Four chance to add foil holographic polychrome addition to a random joker. Yeah, 100%. This game is awesome. Love it. Oh, I love pain. Crypt 2 common jokers. Select. Wheel of... Uh, uh. A wheel of... Unfortunately, nope. So, if I look at my run info, I really never want to go for straights. I'll go for flushes if they're spades. And the main thing that I'm looking for is full houses, four of a kind. And then for backup, three of a kind. So looking at this, I mean, this is a potential chuck here, but I actually am gonna get rid of the threes as well and just kind of keep these connected pairs. So, I mean, we have a flush, but it's not a good flush. We, we value spades so much more. Although one in five chance for the multi, you know what? I'm here to please the crowd. I'm gonna do this, and we are going to 100% chance. It's not gonna not happen. 100% chance we hit the lucky card. Yes! <laughs> yeah! When I know, I know, all right? Some of you cowards re-roll way too much. You don't know what it feels like to be day nine. When, and let me tell you, when Day9 knows, he knows. You have no idea how often I called my Ragnaros shots. Now, this is an interesting one. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. We're going to need to do some probabilistic computationings. Because I still think that... It's so high value to go for a full house here. So I'm going, and we actually we also have like so many fives in this deck. We have six fives. So part of me wants to keep this. These should definitely go. I want to do something like this. Actually, this is this is the right play. And then we have the ability to throw up in our mouth. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could do that, but that's just not... Just not that much. I 
Because, I mean, the funny thing is that straight flush is 11x, and this is 12x. So it's higher value for us to not go for straight flush. Because, you know, the, the funny thing is that even though it's using the poker hand, in poker, you're trying to have a hand that is relatively better than your opponent's hand. If you have two pair and your opponent has one pair, great, you win. Most of your money in, like, Texas Hold'em is won with pairs. Um, and it can feel more comfortable to, like, have a straight. Oh, isn't a straight an even better hand than a pair? Well, you know, if it's five spades on the board. Probably not. <laughs> Um, and in this game, you're not actually trying to get an absolutely better hand in the poker sense. You're trying to maximize numbers per hand. So let's actually let's actually do this math. Because if I if I do this, this is going to be one, two, three, four spades. So this is going to be uh, at twenty. Twenty x. And then there's no pair in there. It doesn't contain four of a kind. So this is 20 times 1.75, which will be 35 ish. 35 plus 9. Oh yeah, there's 30 extra chips here. Okay, so this if this is 35, 9 plus 8. 7, 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 7 is 24, plus 6 is 30, plus 5 is 35, welcome back, plus another 60, so that's going to be about 100, so that's going to be 3,500, so that actually fucking sucks. Yeah, that's dog shit. You're gone. Greed might be good, but I don't think I should necessarily keep This is this is a tempting keep. And a spades is in the deck. We have a lot of fives. Alright, I'm doing this. And in terms of nines. Oh, we only have one seven in the deck. Ah, that's where I'm screwing up. Dude, I love probability math. I love probability math, especially when it goes my way. And we get plus 50 there, that goes to 35. 10k. Good. Four of a kind. Joker unlocked? Alright, very well. Phil Jan says, I love gambling, but only when I'm winning. But see, there, there's, a, there's a gambler's fallacy that's not a fallacy, it's just the way it is. A gambler's truth is that if you keep playing, you will eventually have a win, even though you're not winning overall. I mean, you just gotta keep playing until the win happens, right? I'm not playing to maximize value in the long run. I'm playing for that guaranteed dopamine hit. All right, so I want both of these. This is played face cards, and one-two chance to get two hits scored. When blind is selected, create two common jokers. I guess it's going to be this one, huh? So actual backseating question, how does how does the stone card function? Cuz historically, kicker cards don't get counted. So if I had four of a kind and a stone card, oh it always counts. Nice. This is a plus four multi. Yeah. 
Next round, here we go. I might ditch this plus one discard, but I, I, it feels one in seven cards get drawn face down. Maybe lowered to three cards from face down. I was gonna look at this and I was just like, well, I guess I cannot know. So we should be going for three of a kind, full houses, four of a kind. We have a lot of fives in the deck. So, plus three chips, one in five chance for a plus 20 multi. Creates a tarot card when discarded. Really? I misread that. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Alright, we're playing this. It's the play of the day. Plus 38 and four multi. Great. Plus three, plus three, plus three, and... Nothing else, okay. Only 8,800. Pathetic. Pathetic. All right, there's another full house, and we do not care. That is happening like that. We're getting plus 50. We contain a pair. Plus 55. All right, this is looking like a lockeroni. So. get rid of these. See if we can just... Alright, so we have the full house. Potential. So, if I do run info, three of a kind. Five, six, seven, eight. I think this is the right one to play. Not ideal. We get a little bit of a bonus. Oh, I totally miscounted. We win. We're the greatest player of all time. Octarian says, but it's great to see games like this making it big on Steam and other platforms. Dude, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, it's just, it's just a game. It's just a game, you know? And let me, let me make this point. Every single game that has been blowing up recently, from Pal World to Hell Divers to this, of course, I'll give a shout out to Solium Infernum. These are games that make you play a game. It's not a stupidly long tutorial where you have to talk to 80 people in town. It's not a bunch of cinematics and learning of mechanics before you get to play a game is just you just hop in and play the game and immediately you're playing the game this had a tutorial that lasted like three minutes like let me play a game minus one ante minus one hand per round I don't I don't know what that Actual backseat? What, what does minus one ante even mean? I don't think I understand that. I don't think I get it. The ante determines the score threshold. So I want to do this and start destroying non-spade cards.
I think. No way, I don't want this at all. No, I don't want this. What am I doing? I don't want this one at all. This is this is bad. This is bad bad news bears. Great random choker. Great. Trace the last Terra Planet card used during this run. Oh, actually, that's better. Well, all right, we're we're buying and selling all sorts of garbage. Use. All right, full house keeps leveling up. One free reroll per shot. Why not? All right. Upgrade high card by three levels. All right. This is so good. Okay. Okay. Like, I think I just keep all of these, huh? Because if I had a queen, an ace, or a four, and I have so many fours left in the deck. So two queens, two aces, three fours. I have a lot of outs. Discard. Creates a tarot and discarded. Great. Same discard. Converts up three selected cards to spades. playing this one because it's plus four multi. Plus four molt. A flush house? A what? What is a flush house? I mean, it turned out to be okay, but what? what is a flush house? That's not a real thing. I mean, that, that is literally some made-up garbage, man. Let me tell you, the funniest, here's the greatest thing ever. Have you ever go to a casino and play poker? The best thing ever is when someone says, three pair. <laughs> oh, you have three pair. Wow, that's, that's a really hard hand to get. Great job. One, four, two nines left. Dude, what am I doing? This is two pair. So I need very little. Okay. Three pair, baby. For those who don't know, uh, in poker, it's a five card hand. So three pair doesn't exist because that would require six cards. All right, score at least that much. Cloud nine. Oh my god, look at the cloud nine. Oh my god. I'm gonna open this. See if I can replace this nine. Joker is each card sold. If first hand of round has only one card, add a permanent copy to deck and draw it to hand. 
Sugar gets almost for each card sold resets when boss blind is defeated. Permanent copy to the deck, so I want to sell this and I want to get this. Because I can just add tons of things to the, the deck, which will continue to boost this. Okay. Yes, that one. Yes. Eh. I'm just gonna put it in. Why not? Next round. Dude, I need to go to the bathroom, but I like I can't stop. Like I have to I have to play this game. Okay, so I should do this. Why'd you do that? So that goes up. I mean, not, not literally zero, but effectively zero. So now what I want to do is I want to chuck everything that is not a paired card. All right. It's not an amazing hand, but it is a full house. It's a level 7. I'm going to play this. I actually think I need to keep the plus 1 discard joker. Man, I, I, I'm i going to get a bladder infection, man. I'm just like not... I need to stand up and go to the restroom. I'm just not going to do that. Like, you literally couldn't pay me a million dollars to use a restroom right now. I need to play this game. So, we have the pair. So, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck all these... Eights left in the deck, right? Two more discards. I think that this... How many fives do we have? We have so many fives in the deck. I Actually, this is a high probability, so we're only going to discard four. Still think the probability is high. So we're going to discard four. Bonus 50 is pretty, pretty fantastic. Plus three multi. 1800, easy. Dude, this spade build is so fun. I need to use a restroom. If I don't, if I don't use it, then like literally, I might explode. I feel like that kid in Willy Wonka, except it's not able to be shown on television. Just two or four spectral cards. I don't know what a spectral card is, so I'm gonna get that. Definitely gonna get Venus. A bottle. Let me tell you something. If you have ever tried to talk while you're using the bathroom, you're gonna find out it's real hard to do. I would just have to stop and just be like. <laughs> okay. Wonder what these are. Spectral cards. Adds a purple seal to one selected card in your hand. Creates a tarot card when discarded. Okay. Destroy one or more card in your hand. Add negative to a random joker. Minus one hand size. What? Isn't this isn't this terrible? All right, hold on. I'm gonna use a restroom.
Oh, I did it. I'm the best. Destroy one random card and have three random enhanced face cards to your deck. You know, I think I think I will. So this is add negative to a random joker. My okay, why would I ever want minus one hand size? Isn't this just terrible? Isn't this just like a terrible thing? Actual backseat question. Oh, I, wait, I see. Oh, negative. Oh, I'm dumb. So negative means that like, I can actually get, wh why is it called negative? What in the hell? All right, so I'm gonna, first I'm gonna use this. Oh, it destroyed my, well, okay. All right, you know. Loss of jack spades, gain of jack spades. I'm not gonna do this because I'm all in on full housing. Purple seal when discarded. What do I not have a lot of? Great. Do it, Sean. Do it. I'm not doing that. The only adult in the room. All right, it's time to up the ante, baby. Base chips and malt are halved. Ooh, all right. So many fives in the deck. We do have a lot of sevens, huh? The thing I have most of is kings, actually. Okay. So, probabilistically speaking, these are the ones that we want to dunk to maximize the chance of pairing or hitting a third. Four of a kind. Nice. Flush House. Flush House is the funniest. <laughs> oh my god, read him and weep, boys. Flush House. If you know that reference, you're allowed to stay here. If you don't, get the hell out of my channel. What am I dunking? Nines, sevens, and fours are equally trash. All right. With the fours, I will typically want to... Yeah. I almost discarded that. It's so funny. Dude, I, I, I want to go rewatch the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. That one's so good. All right. Oh, man. That's close. I almost scored a Flush House. Flush House doesn't score as well as the Full House. Elk Lodge, what a treat to see ya. I'm, I'm feeling grand. I'm feeling grand. I love this game. All right, we got another full house. So I don't get any bonus points for... Okay, here's what we're actually going to do. We're gonna discard all of these and see if we can keep this in the hand. So what we're hunting for is another four or another eight. And the probability is low, but that's fine. We can just... Well, actually, wait a minute. If I just go two pair... If I, if I do this... We only need 2,000. So this is 40 and 40. So this is actually 44. <laughs> 44 total points. Should be more than enough, right? 40 times 40 is already...
let's actually compute this. This is 40, this is 80. This doesn't count because I didn't do some roundings. This is now 84 total. Plus 20, so that's 100. The bolt is going to be 10, 14, um, 18, 22. Yeah, that should be okay. So then I can keep this four in the hand. And that gets multiplied. Perfect. All right, cash them out. Okay. All right. Doubles all probabilities listed. I don't actually think I have that many. Versus how many hands do you think you need to play before you start getting into scientific notation for multipliers? I, I, I hope that that's how that works. Flush house. Three of a kind. I'm going to level up flush house because that's just the funniest word ever. Tarot to be used immediately. I'm gonna reroll this. Flush house. Oh, series. Buy and use, baby. My flush house. Now I can get now I can level up flush houses like crazy. Yeah. Open. This is great. Now I can go for flush houses all the time. Select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. Not that great. Enhances one into gold, enhances one into wild. Creates a random joker. Converts up to three selected cards to spades. Oh, yeah. Which ones do we want to do? May as well equip the highest ranked ones. Yeah, because, like, let me actually just do the hover. No, this doesn't work. So we have a lot of kings, we have a lot of aces, so we definitely want to convert the ace. We definitely want to convert the four, because we, we have several fours. What do I have the most of? Where are my doubled ones? So we have several sevens, we have several eights. Do we have any sevens or eights there? No. How many tens do I have? I have a single ten. Good. Dude, this is going great. All right, I'm ready to go. Play this, and then I'm gonna need to do some aggressive discarding. Wow, that's 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 a lot of power in one card. So if I look at this, so many kings in this deck. These are the ones that we're just discarding, right? So we really need to still be. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I really need to go for the full house. Great, play cards. Bam. Dude, this is a lot. Well, I guess it's a lot of raw, but we, we're, that's not actually getting multiplied by that much. I mean, we still are almost one shotting the round, which feels. Thick, solid, and tight. 
So the ones that we want to pitch back are these, because we, ha we have three more aces and four more kings in the hand. And this is an ace that is of spades. So let me go ahead and discard these four. There it is. I don't even care. I'm gonna get so much. This Joker that gets bigger as you add cards to the deck. It's so good. 28K. Oh my god, dude, James. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, James. It's so good to see you, man. How are you? I'm literally, I'm owning right now. Alright, well. I know what I'm doing. So this is 1.5x Molt while this card stays in the hand. Now, I actually have a lot of fives in my deck. Three of these. So I have six fives. How many threes do I have? I don't think I have any... Yeah, we should take the five. Those plant cards. Eru resubs and says, Bellatro Gaming. Four of a kind, three of a kind, flush, straight flush, high card. It's going to be four of a kind. Hey, Thunderball, how you doing? Oh, this is this is gonna be. I'm just gonna go in. Select. High card. Polychrome. Oh. Wait, what? That's how that works. What? Holy, holy. Ho I'm going to throw up. Okay, so we keep these. Goodbye, goodbye. This is probably the most effective one because I have many aces. I don't have a lot of twos, threes. Yeah, this is this is the right thing to do. We technically have a bunch of kings, but I want to go for the higher value eights. Oh, I'm a new joker on the Very well. Five, sustain alive. Literally any of these is fine. We should definitely discard this. I think we discard the polychrome one. It's the right thing to do. I actually think I invert this and say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, that's the that's the one. We have a high probability of getting an ace, and this is a really, really insanely high value card to be able to play, so we'll just play this. Oh my god. I can't wait to turn up the game speed on this. <laughs> oh, it's so many points! Oh, we're getting so many points, bro! I mean, I actually... I should just do this, right? I should just, like, absolutely rock out. Stop you from doing it now. I like... I like to wait. Great. I'm gonna... I'm gonna beat the game. Out. Oh. 
Hell yeah. And it says one sun card to a gold card. No. I mean, so many tens, dude. Dude, I have a lot of fives, man. I have a ton of fives. I have like so many fives, dude. Look at I have like five, 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 five. five. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's I'm gonna drop this. Discard. I didn't hit play. Shit. Fuck. Shit. All right. Since I wasted that, I'm gonna do this. Two sixes. So many tens. So many eights. Is it to become a wild card? So I'm going to do this. So that overwrites it. I was curious what would happen, and now I have my answer, and I'm gonna fucking cry. Just a high card hand to discard three. That's a remarkable score for that. I have a lot of kings, and I have a lot of tens. get a this is a tricky hand so the eights and the kings have an option to get really huge so we should do like this and play this because what we really want is to hit a flush house with 10x, and I have again I have so many fours in this in this deck. So I have a lot of fives. So this this is effectively just a discard. And four more plays. high card play. So, I mean, again, these are all just, this is effectively just discarding, but the thing is, that the very second that we hit a 10 or a 4 or some of these other good cards, we're good and
three more hands to play. Just have a lot of fives. A lot of fours. Yeah, I think I should do the exact same play again. So, I mean, this, this still feels like really high probability because when we hit, we're going to hit so, I mean, we're literally going to win the instant we hit a 10 or a 4. Right? Because this is just such an insane bonus. Because we have level 7 full house. That gets a huge multiplier. We get another 15. That gets multiplied by 5.5. So then we just blow it out. Hey, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not. All right, keep doing this. Is it the final ante? Give this a shot, why not? Is it the final round? 50, 75, 300, holy moly. Holy moly! Oh, it's not a permanent change, nice. Okay. Okay, so we're going for that as many ace, yes. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to discard this first. Because then we have an absolutely killer hand. And we can chuck anything that we don't desire. And now we're getting the 15 bonus. Yeah, that'll do it. So I'm realizing now that, like, I should drag the cards in order as I play them because they'll also have additive and multiplicative effects on them. Definitely this. I love the planets. I love planets. I mean, this is the bread and butter right here, huh? We're a full house? Okay. I might hang on to this to try to get it on Violet Vessel. I actually have not looked once at what the things say. We don't have that many threes. So I am not going to go for the duplicator here. So that's going to get sold. So we don't want this. We don't want 
this. We actually have a lot of kings. We have a lot of aces. So I'm actually going to change and start discarding these. Threes. We, we neither need them nor want them. So there's a full house. So we have the full house set up properly. So we're going to discard this again to maximize the pointage. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. We don't want to discard anything. Yeah, mods, don't worry too much about some of the backseating stuff for a little bit, because I think that you'll actually uh, go insane if you try to do that. Today seems like a good day to just not worry so much about that. Yeah, so I, I mean, I just might say, don't even, don't even stress that much about it, mods. Don't even stress that much about it. Just as I mean, I'm not going insane, but okay, if you want to, yeah. Well, I think, I think you've actually just grown too powerful, Jess. Is this a Joker? So, select two cards, convert the left to the right. This is going to be good for the fives. Convert the left card into the right card. So, I want to convert the left card into the right card. So many fives. Literally rolling in fives. Is one card to be a wild card. Five is now wild. So now I, I have a lot of fives, and this is a wild five. All right, this is the game. So this, this is the last round though, right? So I should actually be quite conservative and not go for this thing. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna discard. We're gonna discard again. We have a chance to get four of a kind here, which of course we do, because I'm the greatest of all time. Like that. Four of a kind, level three, we get insane bonuses. Why not five of a kind? Actually, that never occurred to me. Like, why do I not get five of a kind? Okay. Huh. 
Alright. I wonder if there's a five of a kind flush, that'd be so good. So, we have the sevens. Don't have any fours, so that should get discarded. Threes have been dunking, the nines have been dunking. Should have played the three. Whoops, 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 whoops. I makey a mistakey. No, I shouldn't have. I'm the greatest player of all time. Alright. I have a lot of threes. Uh-oh. So, we have a final hand. So this... I mean, it's not great, but I think we may have, I think we may have lost. Be close. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Well, I have bad news. We're literally just going to play again. 